Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. It's going to be another one about some work I've done on the van today. Simple thing, um, but makes a big difference. I've fitted some armrests to this chair. Here they are. They simply fold down like this. You've got an adjuster on this end and they go all the way down like that, which you can't see. So I'll put a bit of better footage up. I've got one this side as well, which is stuck behind the seatbelt most of the time. Um, but it makes quite a big difference to uh, the van when you're driving it. it makes it a lot more comfortable uh, it's quite a simple thing like I said but I do use this van quite a lot I use it as a, a daily driver and also we do do quite a lot of miles um, going out of Cornwall on a holiday on it and we also do uh, quite a lot of miles when we go um, abroad to Europe as anyone that's kind of followed the channel for a while will, will realize um, not a massive thing to fit them they are relatively straightforward although they are a tad fiddly at times they do make a, a massive difference now like I said I've, I fit them to try and make the van a bit more comfortable and a bit nicer to drive uh, a bit more luxurious should I say um, a bit like the the electric windows that I fitted um, a few weeks ago which won't work now because the engine's off um, if you want to see me fitting these by the way I'll uh, link up the video in the top of this one so you can go and have a look at it these are auto closure windows as well so they will go up and down with one touch of a button and they'll automatically go up if you lock the van and they're down as well so if you want to check that out um, the link will be at the top now the armrests I'm just literally going to go through um, how you fit them and just kind of run through the steps I did because they are actually a lot easier to fit than you expect well, they're not the cheapest things to buy and like anything in the Volkswagen camper van world they are um, not the cheapest they were £140 for the two armrests and that does sound a lot of money but when you're driving a lot and it makes you more comfortable and it gives you back less strain it's probably worth it in the long run to be honest so I decided to go and fit them they weren't too bad um, now first thing to do is you have to obviously take the seat out of your vehicle it's quite easy um, there's two torque screws um, at the back which you undo and there are two nuts at the front which you undo from the seat as well then you kind of pull the seat out of the way take it inside um, you probably could do this with it fitted to the van but it is easier to do that and then kind of take it inside now once you've got the the seat out of the van what you need to do is fold uh, it down so it's almost kind of squashed right over and if you reach underneath the, the bottom of the seat you should be able to feel this plastic uh, this kind of big long plastic clip which is of two bits of plastic which kind of slot in together which run the, the bottom of the seat if you pull those um, towards you pull the back bit kind of down and towards you it will clip out um, once that's out of the way pull it up out of the way give yourself a bit more room there is two wire clips which you have to uh, remove from the frame. Now you do those by getting a pair of pliers on them, pulling them down and unclipping them. Once that's done, you simply pull the cover up. You just lift it up from the bottom of the seat upwards. Um, move it up until you can see the holes in the foam where the seat brackets go in. They're already kind of made in those foam bases, so it makes fitting a lot easier. Um, once that's out of the way, you basically take the brackets that have come with your kit, um, you line them up and you simply bolt them um, onto the, the kind of bodywork. Now, um, uh, my brackets, for some reason, one of them did come a bit bent. It wasn't bent as such, but it had been welded up, not 100% straight. And I knew one of my um, arms would be a bit kind of wonky. Uh, when I put it on so I had to get a, uh, a bar on there and just kind of bend it back into shape after I'd uh, bolted it up um, so I did that on mine but you won't really have to do that on yours or most of them I wouldn't have thought you'd have to um, now what you've got to do after that is simply put the cover back down refit the cover um, clip it all back up um, put the wire hooks back on put the plastic in uh, do all that and then once you've done that it's just a matter of uh, getting a Stanley knife and or a knife and you can actually cut some little holes where you can feel the brackets you can actually feel where the brackets are when the covers on then and um, you can kind of cut around them 
make the holes and then you can see the, the kind of bracket sticking out then. Then all you do is you fit the, um, the arms and you simply put a Torx screw in the end or a bolt and you bolt them up and clip the covers on. Now, that is as simple as it is to fit. Really easy. Uh, it probably took me something like to do the one seat. It probably took me about an hour or something like that. It's not a, a big job and it is a lot easier than I thought to take those um, back of those seats apart and kind of slide it up and do all the work. I can highly recommend doing it if you want to try it yourself. The captain's chairs for these vans are very expensive. You can easily pay three, four, five hundred pounds for a captain's chair. So by fitting these yourself, you basically are getting somewhere very similar. It might even be the similar for the same thing, to be honest. So definitely recommend it. Um, they've made a big difference so far. Very comfortable, nicer to drive. Uh, it's just going to be a quick vlog about how I fitted them. Um, feel free to check out any vlogs I've done recently in regard to the van. I've been doing quite a bit of work on it um, over the last uh, few weeks and months. I hope you found this one interesting. If you have any comments or any ideas or want to know um, how I did something on it, drop a comment in the box below and uh, if you've liked the video give it a thumbs up and I'll catch up with you on the next one in the future.